everyone! Welcome back to my channel and today I have a very special guest. She's my best friend, Vivi! My name is Vivi. <laughs> Why do you sound so weird? I don't know, I'm shy. Yeah, right. So some of you might recognize her from this uh, My Best Friend Wax My Armpit video, which we did it like maybe Two years, two years ago and we look so different in it I actually went to watch that video yeah. again and like my hair was that super curly Moana Ooh. hair face and I think your hair was short yeah super short yeah 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 so like times passed two years has gone this girl has been traveling and working for the past two years she's like working online while traveling so I feel like that's something that is the dream of a lot of us and I thought it would be nice for us to talk about it today I've prepared a few questions. Oh yeah, and today's session is going to be known as uh, Tea Time with Wendy. Uh, we are both drinking tea. She's, she's doing it in a very hipster way in mason jar. Mm -hmm. And the tea that we are drinking, it's, uh, it's rose hips hibiscus and raspberry. It's like a fruity flowery tea that she bought from Sri Lanka, which was her last stop before she came to Malaysia. No, actually my last one was... Cambodia. <laughs> I mean like that's, that's like for a few hours to pick, pick your things lah. So mm. I, I would say like Sri Lanka. Yeah, my, my last traveling spot. Vacation spot? Not really. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. see my travel as vacation. Hmm. Now how would you define your kind of traveling? Leaving? Really like just travel. Because I, I don't go there just to relax. Mm -hmm. I go there to do my everyday stuff too like everyday work i work there mm. nine to five mm -hmm. as well so i never see my your travel, travel as like as vacation, vacation. so i guess that's that brings us to like a very easy mm. first question is like what do you do mm. what do i do um so i am a translator and copywriter and i work on fiverr.com fiverr is a platform mm. for freelancer to to put themselves out there so that anybody that needs any kind of services can go there and um, to get just to you know purchase services from them and then you can see if you go on the platform you can see that people are selling different kind of services like um, for example for me I'm selling translation and copy writing, writing services yeah. well you also can see people there's all like graphic designer that help people um, design name cards for example or rapper that can help you rap your rap song if you provide provide them like uh, your rap lyrics oh. i always find it very fascinating that is really fascinating and so cute yeah i've also seen those like birthday wishes mm -hmm. you can pay someone like maybe five or ten bucks to like mm -hmm. sing or dance your happy birthday wish to your friends mm -hmm. like there are services like that also yeah it's really random Mm -hmm. And for myself previously, because I'm kind of the one who kind of got you mm -hmm. in the fiber, yes. uh, and I was doing web building. And it's like, because I had a lot of experience with doing uh, my own blog and website stuff, so I kind of applied that skills into offering a very simple WordPress uh, website building service there. So you can really do anything on mm -hmm. Fiverr if you want to. But the thing with, with, like, the thing with freelancing is like, it definitely comes with a drawback, because there are times when um, your income is just not stable, right? It still depends yes, on other people, yes. right? Because uh, the way that Fiverr works, which is the good part about Fiverr, is your clients come to you instead of you like, going, going to, to them. Yeah. But that's, the good part about it is just you. It just save you the effort of like going door to door. Hey, do you need this service? Hey, do you need this service? Mm. But um, the bad part about it is just that you are kind of passive. Mm. Because you basically just sit behind your computer and wait for them to Hey, I need this to get translated Hey, I need this to whatever Yeah When they need it I think the best marketing effort you can do in Fiverr is kind of mm -hmm. like to Optimize your services Like use those keywords mm -hmm. Or like have really fancy banners I, I saw a lot of like really weird geeky looking ones lah For me, I think yeah. retaining uh, your old customer is a very important thing mm. To make them keep coming back to you Because you know that this person already in this industry And he needs stuff to be written uh, Or like need, needs stuff to be translated on weekly or monthly basis So I think it's very important to like Provide them a very good service Leave a very good impressions And then so they always come back to you and they will also leave really good review for you. Yeah. Which kind of like 
build the trust for mm -hmm. incoming clients to like yes. get that point. Oh, there's another point about fiber because mm -hmm. it's like when I first started, when we uh, when we, actually we were. Did you start around that time? Around that time, like, maybe we just one month, two months before you. Okay, so we, yeah, are, yeah. we started Fiverr around the same time. Mm. I remember that time I was in my hometown mm. for like two months. And then I think my first month revenue was like 14 USD or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't, I haven't uh, have any reviews yet, any yeah. rating or any returning customers. Yeah. So I basically it's like need a new person there. Mm. And then, um, yeah. But you, you always you need to just like start from something, like. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. people that want to start freelancing in fiber, I would say maybe start that before you quit your job right now. Uh, <laughs> which, yeah, that's true, lah. No matter what you want to do, it's like it's always good to have a backup. Mm -hmm. A build, a build like your reputation there. Yes. First. So build your reputation on fiber before you quit your job right now. So yeah. by, the, by the time you quit your job, huh, you're good to go. Yeah. So like you would say. You you said that you started off with fourteen dollars something income. like that. Um, like that that first month really lah. Yeah, yeah, that very sad lah. <laughs> la. That very sad income lah. Mm -hmm. la. Um, will it be too sensitive for you to share with us how much you make? No, no. Yeah. Well, I think well, that's 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 a very very big question that everyone has about freelancing. Yeah. And the whole digital Actually, nomad life. People ask me that questions a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would say it fluctuates. Uh huh. Month to months. Uh, but. Probably around five hundred to eight hundred. The the best one I ever made is eight hundred USD. Mm. Yeah. And that is definitely enough for you to travel around Southeast Asia. Yes, because Southeast Asia, I mean, even the most expensive thing traveling in South Asia probably is flight ticket. And flight is like fifty USD. We hang out a lot, and I know that she visit places, but I actually don't know how many countries you've been traveling for Actually, the past. Two years? I forgot to count. <laughs> you forgot to count? I mean like it's okay, we count down lah. Uh, okay. While you're counting, I'm gonna get started with some chocolates. Okay. I found this in the fridge, it's been laying in our fridge for a while. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 countries in two years. Mm -hmm. But you need to take into the consideration that I think maybe three or four places is I literally just lay over for like 12 hours or 10. Mm. I got out of the airport, see some stuff, eat some stuff, mm. see a friend, and then I go back. And a few places, it's like for a long time, like you live in Tanzania, mm -hmm. Cambodia for like a couple months, and Australia. Mm -hmm. Like this way, are different like many months. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely not like, she's not working and traveling to hit the number of as many countries as you can to show off on social media. Mm -hmm. It's more like traveling and living in it there. It just become a part of my lifestyle. Mm. Gradually. What's your favorite country? I think Mexico because um, mm. I love Mexico. And put apart people there are very 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 nice and friendly. Mm. I went Mexico by myself. Like it was my first solo trip ever. Mm. Uh, that was before before I started freelancing actually. Mm. It was like it's just way, a way travel, before. travel. Yeah. Yeah. Like I went there alone, but then the entire trip, I don't think that I'm alone at all. The moment that I arrived at my hostel, and then like um, I put my luggage bag, everything there, and mm. then I got out of the hostel, people just come to me. Hola! Como estas? Where are you from? They thought like, they don't really see Asian people around. So like they they will think that they all most of them thought that I'm Japanese because I think that's probably one of the nationality that visits often. Like, yeah, I think maybe, so. Maybe maybe yeah. Or maybe you just look like Japanese. Maybe that time I have like short hair too. Yeah, like shorter than now. It's kind so of maybe. a stereotypical Japanese girl. Right, like Japanese girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're very nice. They come, they come, and then like they don't have any bad intentions. Cause normally you think that oh, why why this like stranger come to me and like blah, blah blah. But it's like they are all just well intentioned. Mm. They are like hey like uh oh welcome to Mexico blah blah. blah. Then they'll tell you oh my favorite. Taco stand is the one on the wall. Oh, they actually street. tell you that. Yes. That's so useful. And there's this this dude he actually bought me. To at that time already, like I think I ate already. I was like, oh, I already eaten. I'm mm. like not hungry night right now. I said, it's fine. I'm just gonna walk you there. So next time when you're hungry, you wanna eat something that you know. That uh. place. That's my favorite. Like Wabo, I think I forget what place. Like and then like that. And then he like just like walk me around the city to like see his favorite corner and stuff yeah. like that. And then in another instance, I uh, I met this professor that work in a 
I think National, Mexico National University or something like that. I'm very bad with names, I always forget names. Okay, but anyway, okay. So, I think it's like something technology university or mm. whatever. So like, he just like, uh, okay, so he invited me over for drinks. Why did you meet him? On the street! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Try this drink. You say like it's a cerveza, cerveza something. We will Google it and put it in the screen. Yeah. Oh my god, the sky is getting darker. Is it really no. Rain? So it's like uh, okay. this like this this beer mm, is mm. they they put actually they put ketchup in it like they put soy sweet soy, soy sauce, sauce in ah, it. Okay. And then they put lime mm. and then uh um what's that paprika? I think it's paprika. So it's like a very heavy drink mm. and then it's only you can only have it in um, Mexico and then he was like you need to have this drink the like, job let's go with it and then when okay when normally this kind of thing happen you're like why why did, why that guy offer me drink like that mm, mm. but like the whole evening literally he, he just want me to taste it because he know that I never taste it in my life mm. he just want me to taste it and that's it he never say weird thing he never touch you anything no, no and he never like like, I don't know, just assume something else will happen or whatever. He just mm. want me, and then he, he just want me to taste it and then talk about myself, my home mm. country, and then like, and then he would tell me about his country and stuff like that. And then he invited me for lunch mm. with his colleagues at the uni university the next okay. day. Oh. So I actually get to go to visit the university mm. and uh, had lunch with all of his, like all the professor's colleagues that he had. Mm. And then we are all still friends on Instagram and everything. Mm. So it's like, what, what I think my main point is just like, they are, they are just friendly and then they are like, just with all the good intentions. That's, without yeah. like weird things going on. Mm. That's cool. That's why I love Mexico. Okay, that's a very long answer. You know? I'm crying. I love Mexico! <laughs> what do you mean that? <laughs> no, I always laugh at Vivian because every time mm. you answer something, right? I'm a very bad storyteller. <laughs> she will give a very long winter story. <laughs> and we kind of guess this will happen in this chapter. But it's okay, it's a, very, it's a very nice story though, really though. Mm -hmm. Like, it makes me want to travel to Mexico mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. But I would say like okay, let's go back to a bit back to our like, <laughs> boss talk, right? I'm just I'm just thinking la, like um that was when um you were traveling without a like working freelance back then. That like, that was not. That yeah, was, that was not when. Yeah. So you have like the freedom to visit everywhere and go mm -hmm. anytime whenever you want. Mm -hmm. So how would your a uh, traveling day uh, be when you are also working freelancing? Well, hmm. normally hmm. wake up in the morning. I will. It's <laughs> going to be very funny. I will have. I will squeeze half a lemon. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, you gotta stay healthy while you're working and traveling, yo. And that's a very important point, actually. Okay, okay, I continue. Because it's like, yeah, so I will squeeze half a lemon and then I will put a tablespoon of olive oil in it and then I will down it like a shot. And then I will make green tea. <laughs> do, you, do you add water into it? No, no, no. You just down it like a shot. It's uh -huh. supposed to like wake your body out and then like also the. Okay. Just, okay. Okay. Continue. <laughs> I'm not judging you. <laughs> what? It's no, supposed no. to. It's very good for you. Okay. 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 <laughs> anyway, and then I will make green tea. Mm. And then uh, and then I will bring my tea to my whatever workstation. They look like a workstation in the Airbnb. Mm. And then I will just start. Working on my favorite thing. Oh. <clears throat> Normally, I'll try to do it start in the morning, just like normal people, like working hours, maybe mm. eight, mm. maybe nine. Mm. If I'm jack lag, then maybe six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, and then I'll just normally finish maybe four, five, six. It depends also because someday maybe ah uh, today I want to work half day because I want to go sightseeing and maybe I want the two p.m. Mm. or whatever. Mm. But yeah, so like I think it's very important to. When you do this, when you you are a digital nomad, mm -hmm. it's very important to to very quickly get into a routine on like every destination you get to, because ah. you don't have the time to like, oh, I'm gonna take three days to get used blah 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 to to get used to a new pace or whatever. No, like, because if you if you miss your deadline on Fiverr, means that you are doing a bad job. Yeah, your client wouldn't be happy, and you affects your rating and stuff like that. So. 
it's just very you need to be very versatile, like very fast getting into a the pace. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense. So like so I would say if you were to mm-hmm. have a plan to go see like a sunrise thing, then you work later in the day lah. Probably. Or maybe I can have day, that day of the thing about working from home mm. and um, kinda like self employ or freelance is means that you are very flexible. Your your time is very flexible. Mm. You can take Wednesday off but work on Saturday. Yeah. As long as it, it goes along with your deadlines. deadlines yes. yes. But all of those you set it yourself. Mm. You're your own boss. Yeah. So. That's so nice. That's the dream, guys. I'm on my way to be my own boss, so <laughs> I need all these tips. What What would you think it's like the mm-hmm. biggest challenge for working freelancing versus working like us having full time job, or like me before this, um, before I was jobless? Well, yeah. we kind of like touch. We kind of like talk, talk about, about this before, a bit, uh, yeah. which is uh the your income is not stable every mm-hmm. month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that that is uh, I think that's the biggest challenge. Mm. My biggest concern is also like yeah, like about the money part. Like if it's not consistent and you cannot make money fast, mm-hmm. how do you deal with the anxiety that comes with it? Mm. Savings or I guess just like uh to get to get um another another side job. So that's mm. why I'm starting another thing right now. Yeah, which haven't start paying. But yeah, which yeah, let's get into it. So she actually mm-hmm. started a Twitch channel. Um, mm-hmm. Vivian loves cooking. Since back in the days, like she's always like cook a lot lah, and like, you can. She loves food. I think it's more specific. It's like she loves food. I love eating. She loves eating. She eats very quickly. <laughs> That's a different story. And recently, I she ate started- a Romli the other day. I'm so happy. Yes, <laughs> I had a Romli burger. Romli burger is the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. But anyways, so Vivian started a Twitch channel to stream mm-hmm. herself cooking recently, mm-hmm. and she now has about like 50 followers already, which is kind of exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, I I I honestly was not a Twitch user myself, but mm-hmm. I signed up to go support, and like I. I find it very amazing that you get a very nice community of people mm-hmm. that can like really get in touch with you, like really know who you are and like they, they check in with you. Yes. Asking they, about how they travel. And they appear every time when I start streaming. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely very different from YouTube. Um, because you don't have time to, you know, edit or filter what you say. It's mm-hmm. just there. Yeah, it's everything's live. Yeah. And the responses are live too. Yeah. Um, so, what's your plan with your Twitch channel? My plan. So, my plan right now is just to grow my community and also have a more stable streaming schedule. Hmm. Because I've been bouncing around and then sometimes I just don't have a kitchen to do it. So, what got you into Twitch? Hmm. There are a couple of reasons. Hmm. One of the reasons is that um, like we talked before like income on Fiverr is not very stable especially I think I took like maybe a week off to go to Angkor Wat mm. <laughs> okay 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 and then I so on, on Fiverr you can you can put on vocation yes you can yeah. you can do that but that kind of like can I curse <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that kind of you are <laughs> because, because it, I don't know why so I, I went I went to Angkor Wat not one week for like maybe three days. Yeah. So I put the vacation mode for three days, mm. and then I just don't get any order for the next maybe like two weeks straight. There's just nobody kind of talk to me. I think maybe because when I put on vacation mode, they took me the, off yeah. the list. Yeah. That is like on the first page of whatever on the search page. Mm. Yeah, and then May- they never put me back. I wouldn't be surprised if Fiverr do something like they reduce your ranking and put you at the more back pages. Yeah. They Because they don't want to encourage people to go on vacation often. It could be that. Yeah, so I never I never put myself on vacation mode anymore. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, why were yeah. you talking about this? <laughs> See? She always <laughs> going far away. I have a lot of stories to tell. Okay, um, the question was... Twitch, what got oh, you okay, Twitch? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because from that, and then like, uh, it's not stable income, lah. Yes, and I realized, ah, oh, okay, it's not stable, so I need to do something else. Yeah. And uh, secondly, it's because I I was living in Cambodia for a while, mm. and then I don't have a friend there. <laughs> you know, they talk to me. 
And then in any way, I need to cook every day anyway. Yeah. So um, so I started to stream up while I cook, and then and then talk to my friends, on Twitch, yeah. and then from there, I really and then I just started to like it mm. more and more, more and more. That's that's very nice, lah. Yeah. It, it's definitely something that. I don't know much about streaming, mm -hmm. um, especially not non-gaming streaming. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we all know that a lot of game streamers make a yeah, lot of money. Just, like, mainly for yeah. gaming. But that's actually like a whole channel for food and drinks, and there's a channel that's like just chatting. There's a channel mm -hmm. that's like arts, which I was I was kind of interested to join, but yeah. I'm like, I I don't think I can do streaming well. Why? I I'm very. I'm very particular with my time. I value my time a lot. And yeah. streaming, I feel like I need to stream for at least two to three hours per yes, day. Yes, and yes. I'm just like, oh, I cannot. I just want to like, you know, just should a video be done in like maximum an hour mm -hmm. and like call it a day. But I feel like I do spend more time mm -hmm. editing the video after that. Yeah, streaming you kind of kind of need to like just put in that hours block there because mm. that is where you establish the relationship. With mm. your with your subscribers and stuff, so you kind of just need to like a block of three hours, four hours, just to do that. Mm. Yeah, but I'm excited to see where it goes to lah. Mm. Actually, I try, so I try to stream myself playing games, and then like all my like followers <laughs> just ask me, can you stop? <laughs> Go back cooking, go back to cooking. Uh, okay. This this gives us an important lesson. If you are good at something, just do that. Don't try to go do what everyone else is doing. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you're not a good gamer. I don't know how you game. But like uh, but I guess your followers followed you because they wanted to see you make food. So suddenly when you suddenly switch stream um, like a different genre, they it just like everyone's just like what the this yeah. is not what I signed up for. Their response is like, I asked them why? Why do you not want to yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah. why do you not want to see me stream game? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. they were like, oh, because they are like 10,000 like, game streamers, mm. but they are only like maybe 25 foot streamers. Mm. Yeah. See? The riches are in the niches. Mm -hmm. Do that, okay. Um, I think that's pretty much the questions I have for you. I feel like we have some interesting stuff inside, but definitely if you guys have more questions about freelancing or how you can do that, all that stuff, drop us in a comment below or PM us. Um, our Instagram names are here. Um, be sure to send us these questions because Vivian will be staying at my place for a bit. So we can definitely come up with like another video if you guys are interested. And also, um, follow me on Twitch. I'll follow her on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you are on you Twitch, come talk to me on Twitch. Yeah, go check out, and she would have a schedule up. Her cooking yeah. schedule. Up. I yeah. don't think anything will change. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, GMT plus eight, ten a.m. Okay. to maybe one. About that, I don't trust this girl. <laughs> So bad. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Just a girl trying to figure out life. Okay, okay. I'm just a girl trying to figure out life. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> um, also, um, I will include all the link, uh, like Fiverr services. If you do sign up with Fiverr through this link below, uh, we'll be able to get uh, some commission. So be sure to do that. And I hope you really enjoy this. I'm trying to get more into like. Girl boss, starting your own business, trying to start your own side hustles. You're looking at two girl bosses. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm trying to get more into all this like girl boss things and like you know finding the confidence and finding a passion to do the things that you really want to be the girl boss mm -hmm. that you are. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If it, it is something that you enjoy, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Um, that's all for today. We'll see you in our next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.